Every year, people send me photos recreating this deer makeup look, and it always makes me smile. I started as a face painter, and I loved creating this look. And so did Jimmy Kimmel because it was featured on his show, which was a total surprise to me. I thought that we could revisit this look because it is super easy and fun. And you probably already have all the products that you need to recreate it. All you need is a light concealer or face paint, a dark concealer or face paint, a light and a dark powder or a fully translucent powder, black and brown eyeliner or face paint, mascara and lashes which are optional, brown lip liner or face paint, highlighter or some sort of a glitter. So go ahead and get those together and let's get started. Now you want to start off with a neutral base, so I already applied a full coverage foundation all over my face. And we're gonna start by brightening up the middle of the face. So use a shade at least two shades lighter than the skin tone, or you can use a white if you have it. I would suggest if you're purchasing anything to use a concealer, there's no need to go out and buy a full white foundation. Unless you're super pale like me, which It'll probably come in handy. If you are using white face paint and it's not the best quality, you can mix in a drop of water-based foundation just to give you a better consistency. But I will link a high quality face paint below if you're looking for a good brand. The way I describe doing this is kind of like a full Kardashian 2016 contouring and highlighting. We're gonna focus within these lines. So triangles underneath the eyes, up onto the side of the nose, above the lip, and then onto the lids and the tip of the chin. You can then soften this out with one of those cheap disposable sponges. I actually wash these in the washing machine and use them over and over again. And they're also great for cleaning around your house if you feel like they're not suitable for makeup anymore. Next, take a darker concealer or face paint and work around the edges of the lightened areas. You want to start quite high and then bring it down to about the hollow of the cheeks. You need to start high on the face and then spread this down, but don't feel the need to bring this all the way down the jaw. But you also want to bring this up around the hairline. This is just going to make the middle part stand out a little bit more. Now to set everything in place, you can use a translucent powder or you can match the shades that you've used. So I set the darker areas first and you can see how mine just stops at the hollow of my cheeks, but we still have a thick enough area for the dots later. Then go ahead and set the lighter areas. Now don't be afraid of powder. We want this area to look very soft and powdery and fluffy. Brows are totally up to you, but try matching the right tones for the rest of the look. And if you're doing this for kids, then just follow the shape of their nose up and around the eyes to frame the eye shape. I like to lightly dust over the brows to make them look kind of soft and fluffy because we don't want shiny eyebrows. For the eyes, you want to elongate the inner corner downwards, then define the lower lash line. Just make sure you leave a gap in the middle. We don't want these lines to join. Now I went straight in with a black eyeliner, but if you're nervous, you can just etch this in a little bit with brown eyeshadow. That way, if you make a mistake, you can just cover it with concealer and start again. Only apply the black when you're happy with the shape. And for sensitive eyes or kids, start a little bit lower and away from the eyes. I then applied lots of mascara and some fluffy eyelashes, which is optional, but then I went back over the black liner with a little bit of brown. This just adds a little bit more dimension. Now that the eyes are all done, we can shape the nose and we're going on top of the nose, bringing this line down. Now I didn't bring these lines all the way down. I left a slight little gap just before the tip starts. This just once again adds some dimension. You can then shade the tip of the nose, right in the middle above the lip, and then down onto the top of the lip. Now take a brown lip liner and fill in just the top of the lip. You want to focus on just the upper lip and make sure the lower lip is blending into the face. Now for the tip of the nose, you can use eyeliner, but I found the lip liner just a little easier to work with. Once you have this shape, you can then create an elongated M shape, a really stretched out one. 
and then simply join that in and fill it in. If you feel like the brown lip liner isn't dark enough, you can go around the edges just with a little bit of brown eyeliner. This will just add a little bit more dimension. For our finishing steps, you want to add some white concealer dots all over that darkened area. And if this is for a kid, you can get them to do a few dots. This is a great way for them to feel included in this. If you don't have a small enough brush, you can use a Q-tip. You can put the hair in little mini ponytails or pin it up. This is great if you don't have antlers or maybe even add some flowers instead. A super fun last step is to add some shimmer or white glitter. You can add this to the cheeks. You can add it into those little white dots and it's a great way to make the nose look wet. I love this and so do kids and pretty much everybody. And then repeat this process onto the shoulders, across the chest, or even onto the hands, which can be a little bit messy, but super fun. I will link below some product recommendations that I think might work for you, but I hope that you enjoyed revisiting this look. It was super fun and I'm still in recovery, so it was a great way to get back into making videos. And I hope that you have a safe and happy day and be kind to yourselves. And I want to thank you for all of the get well wishes. It really means a lot to me and it really did make me feel a lot better. So thank you so much for that. And I will see you in the next one.